Hello, in this presentation we will work some short problems which will have calculations. These could be problems that could be presented in the format of multiple choice or short answer questions. First question, company uses 1,340 of its cash to purchase supplies. The effect on the accounting equation would be... These questions can be a bit deceiving and we can try to do these that we are tempted to do these in our head and not write down the accounting equation. Highly recommend writing down the accounting equation so you don't get the kind of these easy questions uh, mixed up. So I'm going to say assets equal liabilities plus equity. And we're going to say that the company uses 1000 of cash to purchase supplies. So what's that going to do to cash? It's going to one, it's going to decrease cash. Cash is an asset. So we're going to say that cash is going to go down by 1340, but we also know that we're buying supplies. And supplies is not an expense but an asset because we have not yet consumed it in order to generate revenue, that being the uh, expense recognition or matching principle. So the asset is also going up. And notice then that of course there's no effect on total assets, liabilities, or equity. So that's one of the tricky kind of questions we have here in that in terms of the accounting equation, when we purchase an asset for cash, there will be no effect on the accounting equation, meaning neither assets nor liabilities nor equity is going up or down from this transaction in total, although the cash is going down and the other asset of receivable is going up. Next question. Company paid off 32,000 of its accounts payable in cash. What would be the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation? Once again, I would write down the accounting equation. I'm gonna write it down here this time. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. And then we're gonna say the first thing that happened, uh, company paid off 32,000 of its accounts payable in cash. I would first ask, is cash affected? I'm going to write it down this way this time. <laughs> I'm going to say cash is affected. And it's going down because the key word is paid. So we think that cash is going to go down by 32000 And the other thing that's going to happen then is accounts payable. And that's going to be a liability account over here. So accounts payable. We know accounts payable must be going down because this cash is going down. Therefore, this too must be going down, this liability of accounts payable. We also know it's going down because it's a liability. It represents what is owed to somebody. And uh, we owe less money after we have paid it. And therefore, what is owed should go down. So that would mean that assets would go down, liabilities would go down, and equity would remain the same. Next question. Build a client for 30000 of consulting work completed. The accounts receivable asset increased by... 30,000 and so in this one we actually were given half of the transaction so if this was like a multiple choice tool question they'd probably be looking for the other half of the transaction I would still write down the accounting equation I would write down both sides of what is happening here assets equal liabilities plus equity so we're gonna say uh, build a client for 30,000 of consulting work completed so the work was completed that means we've earned the revenue but we might want to think about what we have received first, and that is accounts receivable, which is an asset, and it's going to increase. The amount that people owe us is going up. And then the other side is revenue. Now, when considering the accounting equation, remember that the entire income statement, including revenue and expenses, is part of equity. And we know that equity must be going up because assets went up and they are on the other side of the equal sign. Therefore, equity must be going up at 30,000. We also know it's going up because we do want to double check it because equity is uh, kind of what is owed to the owner or the net value of the business. And if uh, we made a sale on account or if equity, if assets are going up, then if revenue is going up, anytime revenue is going up, anytime net income is going up, then it's going to increase the total value of the company. It's going to increase the equity section within the company also note of course that net income would be going up net income calculated as revenue minus expenses next question a company's balance sheet shows cash 28,000 accounts receivable 34,000 equipment 58,000 and equity 76,000 what is the amount of liabilities 
Once again, we'll write down the accounting equation of assets equal liabilities plus equity. We're gonna then list these accounts. We have cash, which is of course an asset of 28,000. We've got accounts receivable of 34,000. It's an asset and equipment, whoop, equipment, equipment. May not be spelled exactly correctly, but that's okay, 58,000. And then we know that equity is gonna be over here at 76,000. So then we're just gonna add these up. We're gonna have total assets, which will equal the sum of the 28,000 plus the 34,000 plus the 58,000, equaling 120,000. Equity on this side, 76,000. So 120,000 is gonna equal liabilities plus the 76,000. So if we then are looking for the liabilities, we're gonna subtract the 76,000 from each side. I'm gonna scroll down just a bit. We can't see the question anymore, but we should be okay. We're gonna subtract 76 from each side. And as we do that, we're gonna say that 120,000 minus 76,000, 44,000. Gonna go ahead and underline that. Equals the liabilities plus the equity, whoop, let's do it this way, equals the liabilities plus the equity, which is of course 76,000 minus 76,000 or zero. And therefore, if we just flip this back around, we're gonna say liabilities is equal to the 44,000. Next question. Company has assets of 610,000, liabilities of 255,000, and equity of 355,000. It buys office equipment on credit for 80,000. What would be the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation? We will start off once again writing down the accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity. Then we're gonna have assets starting at 610,000. We got liabilities at 255,000 and equity at 355,000. And of course, the liabilities and the equity add up to 610,000 and therefore we are starting off in balance. It buys office equipment on credit for 80,000. I would, uh, we didn't pay cash. This is, should be an equal sign. <laughs> We didn't pay cash and therefore we bought something on account. I would then think about what we received in this transaction. We got uh, office equipment. So I'm going to say office equipment. Equipment. <laughs> and that's going to be an asset. So it's going to increase by 80,000. The assets section, we're going to say 80,000. The other side of the transaction, because we know that assets have to equal liabilities plus equity. We bought it on account, so that means we're gonna buy it uh, on credit. It will be a liability increasing. We know the liability is gonna increase for a couple different reasons. One, because this side increased, this side then must increase to remain in balance, and equity will stay the same. And we also know that uh, liabilities are going up because we owe more money due to the fact that uh, we bought something on account. And I should put this if I'm going to be consistent here. We're going to say the second one should be 80,000 and that's accounts payable, which is going to be a liability. So then if we add these up, we're going to say the totals then are going to be 610 plus the 80. That's uh, 690 for the assets, which is going to equal the sum of the 255 plus the 80. That's going to be the 335 plus the equity. And we're just going to bring that down at the 335. If we add up the 335 and the 355, we get 690. Therefore, the assets equal the liabilities plus equity. And we would then say that assets are at 690,000. Liabilities are at 335,000. Equity is at 355,000. Note that they could ask anything in terms of a multiple choice question. They could say what happened in terms of the increase uh, to its particular accounts and list that out, which means assets increased by 80, liabilities increased by 80, or they can ask for the balances after, the, uh, after this transaction is done, which is probably what would happen in format of a multiple choice question. They would say, what are assets at the ending 
liabilities and equity after uh, this transaction had been recorded.